All right, we're going to record. All right, we, we going? So right. I'll watch the profanity. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> let's uh, edit out the profanity for YouTube. Watch. What's up, guys? We're here with Coach Pete, Swaggy yep, Pete. Yep, yep. Right. Really happy to have him uh, with us on the channel today. What's up, Coach Pete? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Rob? Where are you at right now? Uh, I'm down in uh, Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, uh, with my little studio here, just uh, basically riding it out, man. A little bit of surfing. Yeah, man. Been, uh, a little bit of surfing. Big waves down here. Yeah, getting in the mix, uh, staying, you know, staying active and uh, enjoying it down here. How about you, man? How many? How many people are asking? How many people are asking for butt ends down in Puerto Rico? Uh, well, the hockey community is pretty small. However, it's pretty exciting, man. They uh, they have a rink in Aguadilla, uh, uh, Aguadilla ice skating rink. It's right on the water. It's right on the beach, and uh, it's going to be a, they're, they're actually yeah. doing it right now. It got destroyed during Hurricane Maria, and uh, but they're building it back up, and it's going to be a oh, wow. three on three uh, facility. Um, and uh, it's pretty exciting to to see. There are a lot of athletes down here, a lot of young you know young kids looking for uh, you know a sport to you know dig into and. Uh, it's pretty exciting to have hockey down here. So pretty. Elevato. Are we gonna have Elevato to Puerto Rico? Yeah, man. We should do Elevato to Puerto Rico camp down here. I mean, yeah, for sure. That'd be awesome. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That'd be sick. Dude, you'd be thriving out of this rink down here, man. It's uh, you know, it's like a three-on-three -three size, and uh, I, I don't know about you, but for me, that sounds pretty exciting. Uh, to, you know, getting into the three-on-three. -three oh yeah, I, I think we hit the beach. I think we'd hit the beach a lot though. Yeah, it literally can sit like the guy was telling me uh, he's a goalie and he would say before when they were playing, he'd be in goal and the puck would be at the other end of the ice and you can literally look out the door and watch people surfing, you know, while you're playing. So it's pretty sick. That's it. Maybe, uh, I guess we just got to get a video camera of some surfers outside and then it'll act like the same thing here. Yeah, just like that up in uh, Essex Junction. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, so how's everything going, uh, man? We'll get a wave. Uh, how's everything going up at LA? Good, good. Yeah, congrats to you guys. I saw just you can't uh, complain. It was your one year one year anniversary from uh, the founding of Elevate 02. Yeah, that was our grand opening was November 9th, uh, 2019. So that was uh, pretty crazy how fast the year goes. Yeah, man, congratulations. Uh, I saw that. That was super exciting. And uh, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about uh, what you guys got going on up there? So what we, uh, what we got going here is we have a, a mini – um, we do one-on-one -on -one skills and that, you know, when we opened, we didn't know if people were just going to rent our ice or we'd be doing lessons. So we kind of just got involved and, you know, the biggest thing was getting real ice. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we have a, a small gym in here and, uh, you know, kind of, we were just doing lessons and having fun with that. And once COVID hit, I was like, Hey, I'm going to push in social media hard. So the first cycle like, videos here and there, but we never get it till things got shut down. So really that the, the content side of things wasn't really the, the main priority at the beginning. And that kind of, kind of took off with, with we, yeah, we didn't start pushing content till. Hang on, man. What'd you say? Could you say that again? I, I kind of broke up yeah. a little bit there. I said, I said, we didn't really start pushing content till April. Oh, really? Wow, man. Well, things kind of took off, man. You've been doing, you've been uh, uh, at the forefront of uh, some of the most creative hockey uh, training and dangles. And uh, I know for personally, it's been fun to watch, man. Yeah, no, I think, I think it was always something that I knew I could do and I really enjoy it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to see what the social media side of this is like and, um, it's kind of addicting, you know, I just started going and see what you can do. And, you know, then like we first, we got our show, we had like, you know, a couple thousand views on it and I was like, Oh, okay. You know, and then it just kept growing and growing and trying to push. And I think the, the most exciting part for me is like the creative side. How creative can you get with something that's been played for so long? I think that's what I really enjoy. Well, dude, you're in like the epic environment. I, I was lucky enough uh, a couple months ago now to uh, have the opportunity to visit your facility. And it's like, uh, honestly, man, it's like a hockey player's dream up there. You got the gym, you got your office, and then of course you got that state-of-the-art little rink there. You can, anytime you have an idea, you can just hop out there and film. Uh, it's pretty pretty sick setup you got. It, and what me and Mitch talk about all the time is how fun would this be if we had this as kids? You I know. know? I like, know. Hey man, Nowadays, I'll be honest, kids, man. The kids you know, are almost like spoiled. 
dude, being up there with you guys that day that was there, I, I literally, uh, you know, I had the hunger. I had, I felt like a kid, to be honest with you, just being at the rink, being around you guys, being around the you yeah. know, players that you guys are training up there. Uh, the excitement in the rink was really exciting. And, uh, you know, I, I love, man, every day you get to see a video that you guys are doing and some of the skills and the drills that you're able to create. Um, it's really pushing it to the next level, like training on, you know, different, different, you know, practicing different moves that, you know, can really help you guys and or help young players in games. Uh, you're able to show that all the time. So it's really sick. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's some of the, like, what we try to have is so much fun with it, right? Yeah. Like, just what can we do to have the kids really like hockey and enjoy it? And I think that's where like me and Mitch really thrive is like, we want to get creative while doing like the, the, you know, essential stuff to get, make kids better, but like have fun with it and have this place be like a, uh, like almost like a, we call it the, the fantasy factory, almost like Rob Deerdack, right? Yeah. Where, where you just come in and you have fun and, and, and you just, every day we come in, it's never like, Oh, it's, monday or it's sunday it's just like how much content and fun and make the kids better so we really enjoy it yeah that's cool man you've been seeing how, how, how have the guys been doing like how have some of the young players been doing with uh you know a lot of the skills that you guys have been teaching the the biggest thing that we've noticed is like you know kids come to us once or twice a week yeah. but a lot of these like stills and shooting drills that we do if they take it home and use a green biscuit or shots at, at their home, like that's when you really, really see a big improvement in the kids. Yeah. Like it's one thing to come here for a week and we, like we're basically giving the kids the essential stuff yeah. to put on their own. And it's kind of up to them a little bit to take what we give them and maintain the system practice. Because just, just as when we opened, I mean, my hands were always pretty good. They're a thousand times better because we're, I'm on the ice six hours a day. And that's right, it. so it's pushing that's that consistent. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah, it's all about the reps. And that, that's, what we, that's like all about the reps. It's those consistent touches, like 10, 15 minutes a day. If you can get out and continue to do that, that yeah. is huge. And it's cool. And I think a lot of kids are watching. I'm watching you too, man. I mean, obviously, you had skills going into it. You always had really good hands, but now being on the ice all day, yeah. you know, trying all these new things, you can see. Even I've even noticed, even you know. From, from a content perspective, your growth, you know, as a content yeah. creator and as a hockey oh, creator, um, it's really exciting. And also too, man, that's well, really important is the ideas that you guys are able to put out there. You know, a lot of kids will come to me like, Hey, what can I do to prove my hands or prove my stick handling? You know, you sit in the driveway, if you're yeah. a kid, you don't know what drills to practice. You don't know the specific like on ice things that you should be working on. But if you tune into what you're doing and what you and Mitch have got are putting out there, you know, follow along with what you guys are doing. Some of the, you know, even like the touch pass drills and the one timer drills and like all the different yep. little nuanced things you guys are doing. Kids now can look at that and take that to their own game. But you're right. If you want to, uh, you know, if you want to get better, you can't just watch Swaggy P, bro. You got to go out and you got to do the work yourself. So. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, where to put your hands, how to have your, your wrist roll and stuff like that. It's like, cause I see a lot of these kids in the, in the videos, they, they just try to chop it as fast as possible. It's like, yeah, okay, you're kind of stick handling fast, but there's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like proper technique in it. And it's like, if, if we can help these kids practice at home to get better instead of them not knowing what to do, yeah, then I think we're going to have a big, a big growth and skill development. Yeah, that's cool, man. And like I said, like uh, I, every time now, it's the kids will hit me up and be like, "Hey, Rob, what can I do for uh, you know work on my hands, work on my stick handling?" And it's great to be able to point to somebody like you and say, you know, go check out what the guys at Elevate O2 are teaching. Yeah, I'm always pointing to your channel and saying like right. innovative ideas and uh, you know different things you can do, you know, both on the ice and at home. Uh, it's really, really valuable. And oh, you know, 100. But just putting the ideas in the in the young players and now with like you know with Instagram and what the, what you guys are putting out there putting these ideas in the young players. Yeah. Head. Like I remember being a kid and I used to go get lost in the, you know, uh, be in my driveway and, and, you know, now to have these things to practice, yeah. to see what professionals are, you're able to do. You're really going to, you know, see, I think a huge increase in the, in the ability of the young players that are able to see older guys. Yeah. And also to putting in that work like you're doing. Uh, I think it's really important to stress that, you know, like, uh, you want to get in shape, you know, it yeah. doesn't happen overnight. It's got to be every single day working at it. And then over time, you're going to just be, you know, a savage. Like same with what, uh, what you're doing on that. Exactly. 
I mean, the thing is, is like for me as a kid, like I always really enjoyed stick handling and like I kind of bugged my parents a little bit. I mean, I remember we were, I think I was nine years old. We went to Hawaii and I brought a, a, a hockey stick on the airplane. Like yeah, we're going it. on vacation. I was like, oh no. No, I like, I just, you know what I mean? And, and that's just, just, I couldn't go two weeks without stick handling, you know? Like I, ha I had to like bring my stick with me and like, even though I was like outside in warmer weather, I still wanted to practice. So I think that that just goes to show like those consistent touches can always help. Yeah, man. That's, that's what it's all about. Really. Uh, I, I stress that, you know, all the time as well. Uh, so what else you got going on, man? You got the one year anniversary, you got a lesson coming up today. Uh, is you, what's your daily, what's a daily day in the life uh, at Elevate 02 look like? Uh, you know, I, I get up in the morning, I got my little, little Frenchie. Yeah. So we, we hang out in the morning for a little bit and uh, play blow, Pablo. So we have fun in the morning, then get we'll, the uh, you, you know, get, get on the road, make he he's, a little, he's a little, he's, he's, a little, he's, he's soft. He gets cold easily and uh, he's a diva. That's for sure, you know. So, um, you know, make some, make some phone calls on the way to work and uh, always stop at Starbucks. That's a must. Um, I normally get here around 8. Yeah. The, uh, Coach Nen's working next door right now. And then I'll come hang out with uh, – with Mitch, and then it depends if I'm working morning shift or afternoon shift or evening yeah. shift. Yeah. And then it, the, the thing that people don't realize is like, we have lessons from 6.45 till 9.30 at night. I don't have a lot of time to push content. Right. I'm going in between when I'm supposed to be damn boning the ice to do a video. Right, yeah, yeah. So like, it's, it's not like our ice is just available and I can go out there whenever. Yes, I'm like doing reps and stuff like while we're teaching kids, but I only have like, eight, nine minutes to shoot a video. Yeah. That's I mean, that's, so, sick. you know, we'll, we'll do like a lot of pressure on the, on the moves and stuff. Uh, it, it, do you have like ideas before you go out there of like when it, when an idea hits you for a drill, uh, is it something that you kind of stop right away and, and write it down? Or like, how do you remember to, to, you know, how to create these drills? Ah, here we go. It's storyboard. I like it. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's, it's all here, you know, like I, if I have an idea, um, I, I write it down, make sure I, I know what I'm doing. And then as I'm like looking, like I'll try it out and I'll be like, uh, I don't like how that looks like, cause, cause I, it's not in my eyes, how it looks it's, it's in the viewer's eyes. Yeah. So I have a couple people I'll send the video to and they'll like critique it and be like, you know, like I, I just shot a video this morning and I sent it out and I just, I got basically torn apart they were like this is this is dog you know and I, and I was like okay so what do I need to do right so then it was like you know they 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 kind of critique it and be like you know we expect more so then I'll go back out and, and try something new but it's it's not just because because I see things but I also need other people to look at it and to be like so I have one person I trust with it and I send it to them and then if they, they normally give me like the yay or nay and then i go from there well, and then picking out the music is a ah oh, yeah for what's the whole, that whole package man it's the whole package but when, when yeah uh, i mean and, then, and then, like yes i got the video but now if you don't have the music to hit the video it could it could be terrible again yeah no for sure man i mean it's all part of it so and, uh, you know it all comes together to create that that final product but uh, as far as like uh when you're talking about uh critiquing the video is it is it the idea of what you're trying to get out there or is it just like uh you know how it's how the moves are performed or what is it that you're looking for yeah i go based uh, there's like a couple different things first of all overall creativity of the move Mo yeah. more for like trick shots and and like the drills are pretty good right but i'll like send a rep and they'll be like nah here it like it's not clean right and i'll be like okay so i'll re-watch it and i'll be like that's right. Okay. That doesn't, that doesn't look as good as I want it to. So I'll go back out there. Um, the trick shots more about how, if the, if, if there's like flair to it, you know, yeah, what well, yeah. now, now I've gotten to a point where, you know, I don't want to put something out there. That's like, not that good, yeah. you know? So there, there's, there's a little bit of like pressure on that to make sure that all of them are good trick shots, you know? Yeah. And I also like some of the stuff I saw the one you did the other day where you were, you know, the skills that guys, this is what I'm talking about, like pro skills that a lot of players, the young players, especially might not think to practice, you know, backhands off the glass, you know, and how important that can be 
you know, for, for a pro hockey player, you know, I mean, junior level, you get the puck on the wing, you need to be able to go backhand off the glass. You can't play, you only get one chance to do it. You need to be able to get it perfect. And I saw Rob, you know, like bing, 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 you know, over and over that kind of stuff. And that was, that was, that, that was a two part thing in my head. First of all, is the backhand control off the glass. Yeah. Second of all, I was doing, uh, I was working with some defensemen the other day and I was flipping pucks up to them, younger kids. Yeah, yeah. No idea how to cradle a puck and get it down. You know, like no idea. And I was like, holy smokes. Okay. This, drills, this, and, and, and you see, yeah. So it's like, okay, those kids struggle with that. So we got to teach, imagine if these kids at eight or nine know how when the puck getting, you know, coming at them uh, on the blue line and they can, catch it with their hand, cradle, and get a shot off. Now, moving forward, they have those skills. Yeah, exactly. So I, that's, it, that's, I think that's why you and I get along so well. It's like I see the game the same way, right? Like, yeah. it's something that you don't think to practice if you're a 10, 12-year-old defenseman, but handling the puck off the yeah. glass, getting it down to the ice, and then getting the puck on net as fast as possible in the smoothest motion possible, that could be the difference uh, yeah. you know, between winning the game and not, getting that puck to the net. And if you don't practice that skill – you know, how are you going to I mean, if they, if, they, that? if they don't know how to handle it, if they don't know how to handle it, it could be a breakaway the other way, you yeah. know? Like, I saw, like, kids, like, trying to stop it with the outside of their foot, and I was like, okay, like, this is something we need to concentrate more on. So that's why the one-on-one -on -one is so cool. I can literally, if I'm doing a drill with a kid and I notice that he's he or she is, is not good in one area, I take that away, and then I work on that. Yeah. So, like, I have a practice plan, but it changes all the time based on the kid's ability. Yeah. That's sick, man. Well, I think that's pretty cool. I know you got a lesson coming up. Uh, hang on one second. Yeah, yeah. How about we do, real quick, I got yeah. questions for you on TikTok. We can do a couple of the, the real quick videos. Let's bang some, let's bang some you know, You know I like the TikTok. I so, I got one already, I got one already preloaded here, and uh, there is okay. a, how about if I just, like, ask you the question, uh, and then I'll record you, the, I'll record answering it. So, I already set it up. Like, uh, da, 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 here's the question. Okay. Why don't we get Swaggy P from Elevator 2 to answer, and I'll cut to you. Is that, does that sound good? And then I'll ask okay. you. I got two more, like, generic. Let's roll. Yeah, ask you as well. All right, here we go. And I'll let you get to your lesson. I'm good. What's going on, man? Uh, hold on. This might make noise. Uh, all right, so my man Regan. My man Regan, he's a small forward, and he's asking for tips on how to get faster. What do you say to the small forwards as far as like, what do they got to work on to get faster? Oh no, I might've lost you. Hold on. <laughs> Pete. Sure, what's going on, guys? Lost Swaggy P. All right, we're waiting for Swaggy P to join us again here, guys. He'll be back on here hopefully in a second. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> 